All right, chat. Today's the day that we open up some P.O. Box items. I've been, I, dude, they've been sitting around. I've been waiting. I've been stalling, dude. This was shot in front of a live studio audience at twitch.tv slash sweatsicle. Howdy there, partners. It appears that 30% of y'all are not subscribed to the channel. Make sure to hit that nice little button on your way through the video. And we'll see you in the next one. So, TJ. TJ, your box is here, dude. I don't know what happened in the shipping process, but somebody at the mail service was not very nice, dude. I hope you packaged it well. Throw it? Somebody already did! Somebody yeeted this fucker into the truck, dude! We got, uh, whatever this is. And we're gonna open that up. Alright, what should we start with? I feel like we should start with an envelope. It says, Stuart slash Panda on the name. He crossed out the F and wrote S-U-P-P-S. I'm sure nobody will notice, dude. I'll make sure to, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and slap that on the good old trusty Pokemon table, dude. Nobody will ever notice. All right, epic. All right, we also have a little pack of Sour Patch Kids. These things are very flattened, so I don't know if he sat on these and farted on them. Good through the 15th of February, 2021. All right, well, we still got we still got two weeks. We still got two weeks. He also, there's a letter in here, and he also sent a Pikachu card, dude. I don't know anything about this Pikachu card. What set is this from? It's a 2015 set. I don't know if anybody knows. There do be a Pikachu, though. And Pikachus are juicers, bro. And then we got, we got a letter, dude. Got it on the good old loose leaf. Says, hey Sweat, I made this g -sup sticker. I think it's pretty cool. There's also a sealed pack of Sour Patch Kids, which is very yummy. Anyways, my at in chat is Love the Panda Wool, if you were wondering. And finally, if possible, could you sign this Pikachu and send it back to me? I'd really appreciate it. Much love, Stuart slash Panda. I'm gonna have to work on signature, but mm, so good and I can, I can do that, dude. Mm. I don't, I don't want to get into a habit of shipping stuff back, because that's gonna, that's gonna get to be a lot. But this is our first PO box opening, so I'll, I'll do it just for you. We got a nice letter. You guys seem to like using tape on the back. I, I guess it does make sense with COVID. Don't lick the back, but sent a, a froki in a baggie. I think is there something else in here? And then a letter, which I will... Wait. Well, this is a long letter. I need to get updated on these sets. I don't know if anybody knows what set this is from. There's a Froki. It says, hi, I don't know if this Pokemon card is work it worth anything. Uh, maybe it is because it's holographic, and I'm pretty sure it was a limited time McDonald's Pokemon partnership. It's definitely not PSA 10, but maybe uh, it can pull out a 2. I don't know much about Pokemon, but your content on it is very good and tasty. I mainly wrote this letter to let you know that I appreciate your content. Keep up uh, the Pokemon content and the Destiny 2 content. I know that Bungo isn't doing very well right now, but I still enjoy the videos. I love how you upload daily and put many hours into your videos. You are my favorite YouTuber and will be for a while. Keep up the good work and have fun doing it. Meme Saken. Is Meme in the chat, dude? Can we get some hearts for Meme, dude? Please dye your hair again for Vogue World's first race and it will give you good luck. PPSS. It would be cool if you made a PO box, PO unboxing video and told me if the card is worth anything. I have no idea. I really don't. I'm assuming this will make some sort of video. And we will continue to do these in the future. So if you're watching this, you want to you wanna send something, whether it's a letter or, you know, send me a sealed fart, you can, uh, this is the address right here. Ding, ding, ding. It says, present inside. Dude, it's pretty thick. Pretty meaty, dude. Oh boy, it's a bunch of Pokemon cards and a letter. I'm not gonna look at these. We're gonna we're gonna open these. I hope there isn't like a. Okay, let me make sure there isn't like a fucking penis card in here, dude. Regia Ice, Boldor. This must be new. I do not know this Pokemon. Panch? Is it Pancham? Pancham? I don't know Pancham. Cubone, Epic Art, Beauty Fly. That's me. Wait, what? Ori Corio. Ori Sorio? Ori Corio. Haunter. 
Oh, sh is that a GX? Oh, Zorark GX, dude. Hog you. We got a Pidgeot EX as well. Wait, is this? I think this is from Evolutions, isn't it? Maybe, maybe not. Then we got, yep, the Venusaur GX. Bro, my man said some juicer cards, dude. Does anybody know anything about this card? I do not know anything about this, but bro, thanks for the cards, man. I appreciate it, dude. Hey, Sweat, here are some Pokemon cards. The Mega probably doesn't qualify for PSA 10, and the GX is my favorite card ever. Why did you send me your favorite card ever, dude? I've got some other surprises for you and some sleeves. I really enjoy your content. Congrats on 300k. Been here since 3,000 subs from Wraith. Uh, P.S. That's my real name. Yo, Wraith. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you, brother. Screaming Aztec Death Whistle. And then there's something else at the bottom. What is a what is a tamarin tamarindo? Do I want to put my mouth on this? Dude, I'm going to get cursed and it's chat's fault. All right, well thank you for sending me a cursed whistle and a tamarindo. Should I eat this? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. No batteries. Are you freaking my fricker right now, dude? Dude, it's like when you go to, remember when you go to Target as a kid to buy a toy and then you get home and then realize you have no batteries and you didn't know you needed batteries? Loving the content. Are you thinking of doing a Twilight Princess playthrough anytime soon now? Maybe not anytime soon. Dude, this looks actually sick. That's lit, dude. Ronald McDonald air pumper. If that's what that's supposed to be, hopefully something else doesn't squirt out of here. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Maybe it's supposed to be a treat for Addy or a bracelet. I'm not sure. Maybe some extra survival rope just in case I do actually go outside. Who knows? Did he send me an iPhone? Oh my. I thought he sent me a iPhone, dude. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Pokemon limited edition. Dude, is that a first edition Snorlax that I never got? Okay, maybe they're just hand-drawn cards. Limited edition that thing. And limited edition that thing. These have to be first edition, dude. It's a really, it's a really long one, boys. Are you guys ready? Sweatsicle. Nice content. Ian. Yeah, thanks, Ian. There's a little horn. Th Is that supposed to go with this? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm keeping this thing, dude. My neighbors are gonna hate me, bro. Then we have a on button. Made in China. Bro, we have like a... I think it's a 3D printed ghost. Look at that. The eyeball moves around. <laughs> dude. I'm gonna keep this thing in my car. <laughs> but every time in traffic, I'm just gonna stick this out the window and just <laughs> move it, Sarah! Let's go! And then a little Lego dude. And that's it. That was a juicy box, bro. Wait. Ian sent this, right? This was Ian's box? Yo, Ian. Thanks for the content box, brother. Appreciate you, dude. Lego Clyde. This does look like a Lego Clyde, doesn't it? Oh my god. Moving on to the final piece of today's opening. CJ's box. Look what was in the very top of the box. It was like stuck under the tape. Thank you for this. Thank you. I'll make sure to tape this to the Pokemon desk as well. One wasn't enough, dude. Thank god I got two, just in case the other one happened to get lost in the USPS mail. For all I know, there could have been a third one in there. Oh, dude, look at CJ go. My man said like a sealed blister pack. A bunch of zip ties. That. We have something specifically for the Minecraft speedruns. Are you guys ready to go long? Oh, thank God it's peewee size, dude. Thank God. Because you always throw your speedruns. How did I know? How did I know? That's what that was for. Did you actually, like, go to CVS to get this developed? All right, you guys ready to go through this great photo album? Ah, yes. This is the time that I took Pokimane to 
The fair. Ah, yes, this is the time that I opened Pokemon cards with Pokimane. Ah, yes, this was our first date of Olive Garden. Ah, yes, this is the time that she visited CJ's house. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. More Pokimane. More Pokimane. More Pokimane. More Pokimane. All right, anybody who gets a hollow out of our next box break is getting a limited edition signed picture of Pokimane. Oh, he sealed this thing tight. Oh, he said open this first. Sorry. Yeah, dude. This thing is loaded with glitter at the bottom, bro. I'm not that dumb, bro. Oh, it's all over my thumb. Oh, no. Oh, it's all... How did that happen? Fuck you! This is one of my mods, by the way, chat. Sweat. Even though this package is a joke, the letter is not. First off, I wanted to thank you and your community for welcoming me into the, this amazing community. A little over a year ago, while I was working stupid hours at Culver's while being a senior in high school, I was in a really rough mental spot. I'm pretty sure I told you, but Twitch puts a limit on how much you can type in a resub message. Thanks, Bezos. I live in an area with a military base nearby, so people always moved around a lot. So some of my closest childhood friends now live in different states. As growing up, I never had a lot of friends to begin with. When I did, they were some of the best. Uh, right before seventh grade, all of my childhood friends had moved, and some of them I haven't heard from since then. Uh, while I was scrolling through the Xbox Marketplace, I saw a beta for a game called Destiny. I installed it, I played it. I first thought it was an online horror game. I mean, it is at this point, right? Uh, because when we went through the Cosmodrome wall for the first time, a drag crawled up the pipes and it scared the shit out of me. I never really looked up tutorials or walkthroughs of the game. Uh, after that, I began looking up videos about the game. I had no idea there was even a raid in the game. I started two other characters and played more. I was shown communities for the first time. Let's fast forward a bit. Around this time, the Destiny 2 event we all know and love from Season of Dawn was happening. I was curious about it. I started watching streams and then I met you. Uh, this is the first community where people really actually got to know me, talk to me regularly, etc. I used my Twitch Prime sub, my man. Uh, watching your streams and YouTube videos really helped me get out of that mental state. Uh, let's not forget, I lost my V card while I had your stream up playing a sea shanty. I still can't tell if you're joking about that or not. Uh, by the time you get this package, I will have had 12 months of being subbed under my belt. Thank you, and I can't wait to meet you in person at GCX this year. And we'll send you a Pizza Hut pizza. Much love, CJ. Yeah, CJ, thank you very much, dude. Yeah, I mean, I've, you guys have already been doing it, but make sure we get some love for CJ. Much love, brother. Thank you. Open the cum sock package. I don't know what to do about this glitter. It's literally... I thought I had it handled. I thought I 200 IQ'd it. And then I picked up the letter, and then it spilled all over. I hate this. You like that?